Hello, welcome back to another video. I'm back out for another overnighter. And today, it's looking a bit miserable, isn't it? It's cloudy, it's windy, but it don't matter. I'm out anyway. I've got Alan joining me a bit later on. He's also coming down for an overnighter. And I've also got a new tent in my bag that I'm gonna be trying out tonight. But first, let's get this bag off, get this tent set up, and I'll tell you more about the tent. carbon fibre pegs. Look at them. Carbon fibre. Really, really lightweight. Oh my god. They weigh nothing. That's cool. I do like carbon fibre. So with this tent, you will need two trekking poles. So I've brought mine with me today. So you need two of them, and they've got to be 125 centimeters or longer, because this tent stands at 125 centimeters. So make sure your trekking poles go past 125. These, I think, are 135 in total, so yeah. You don't put, no, yeah, 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 135. Also on the end here, these are carbon fibre poles as well, which are attached to the tent and they just keep both ends of the tent open where the air vents are. But yeah, carbon fibre to keep down on the weight. So let's talk about this tent for a minute. This is the new two-person hiking tent from Hill Zero. It's called the Matisse or the Matisse, if I'm pronouncing that, that right, M-A-T-I-S. Extremely lightweight. You've, uh, you would have seen from earlier on, it comes with carbon fiber pegs. The weight of this tent is 2.6 pound. You've even got two of these air vents, one each end. You can unzip them, or you can zip them back up. You've even got four of these little pockets one in each corner. Handy. And you can sit up in it. It's still a good foot and a half above my head. <laughs> it has two vestibule areas and two doors, which is really good for two people. That means you haven't got to keep climbing over each other to get in and out. As I said early, earlier on in the video, you will need two hiking poles to put this up. This doesn't come with poles and the outer fabric is a 20D silicon PU 1500mm ripstop nylon. So tell me what you guys think in the comments about this so far. I really like it. I like it a lot. 
I think whenever I go on trips in the future, things like when I did the South Downs Way on my e-bike, I think I'm going to be taking this. I mean, obviously I haven't slept in it yet. I haven't had it out in any rain yet. But to be honest, I used the four-person Hill Zero Noble Hot Tent. And I had that out for two days, two nights. And it rained for a lot of it. And it was windy. And you know what? That tent didn't let any water, any water in. So I don't see why this one would. It's made of exactly the same material. If you do want to go check one out, go over to the Hill Zero website. I don't think you'd be disappointed. Okay, so I've got my sleep system in. As you can see, I have got my inflatable flex towel pillow. I've got my down Mac pack, very down sleeping bag. And I've also got the flex towel zero mattress the RO5 they've recently bought that out yeah I'm gonna be very comfy tonight as you can see there's still plenty of room in this tent look next to my uh, sleep mat yeah very nice also got a couple of hanging hooks up there one above that door and one above the other door Now setup is done, I can just chill out for a bit and I'm going to make a brew. Yes. And do you know what I'm going to make it on? Uh, let me get it. Oh. <laughs> just that cheap Timu stove I used last week, a twig stove. Why not? <laughs> it's a good little stove for what it is for the price. I think it was about eight quid. The sun is in and out in and out it's making filming really difficult because one minute your your shots correctly exposed and then the sun will come right out because the clouds are moved then it'll be uh, overexposed and the same the other way around you know you'll get your the sun will be out you'll get your shot perfectly exposed and then uh cloud will cover it up and it'll be underexposed real nightmare filming on a windy day when the sun's out and it's cloudy. Hey, it is what it is. Can't change it, can't change the weather, can we? So, I'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee because I've earned it, I'm all set up now. So, yeah, catch you guys in a bit. The sun's gone in and it looks like it's gonna rain. They didn't forecast any for today. But them clouds are saying otherwise. If it does, it does. So I'll sit in the tent.
so it's beer o'clock. Alan's here, me and Alan have done some firewood, we've split some kindling. So now I'm having a beer, I think Alan's already opened the beer. Yeah. Mm. It's going with the neck oil. Cheers. Pump. <laughs> oh, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> uh, fruits of our labour after doing firewood. And the sun's out. Very nice. Very pleasant day. Well, I completely forgot I had this. This is my uh, Sundick tripod. So I'm going to set this up, stick it over the fire, put my kettle on and have a brew. So why not? I can, but I'm going to. <laughs> ah, coffee time. Done myself a coffee. Very nice too. Mm. Mm. Uh, good boy. I'll stick the beer. <laughs> <Or> cider. <laughs> cider. <coughs> it's a very peaceful evening, isn't it? Well, yeah. It, it's pretty quiet. Not a bird song, but pretty quiet. The wind's died off. Yep. It's not too nice. bad. I went and had a wander around the woods. Yep. Did some filming and. Talked to a load of cobblers. <laughs> really? <laughs> I think it could be like the longest video in the world, but there we go. Uh, ah. Yeah, so now we're just sitting and chilling around the fire because that's what camping is all about. Yeah, absolutely. You know, don't make it difficult. No. Enjoy yourself. Mm. Relax. All Good, about the complete opposite to the working week. Yeah. Really? That, yeah, that's exactly. what you're aiming for, isn't it? Yeah. Relaxation time. Let's kill that. <laughs> Find another thin one. <laughs> oh, it's too fat for my hand. That's what she said. <laughs> I'm having dinner because I'm hungry. So I've got, all I've got is some Spam and some Baps. And that's what I'm going to have for dinner. Nice and simple. I ain't had Spam for a while, so I'm going to fry that up in my frying pan, stick it in my Baps, stick a bit of ketchup on there. Dinner. Yummy. All right, time to put the Spam in. Yummy, yummy spam. dinner. Spam rolls. <laughs> it's simple with some ketchup. Mm. Good. 
And I'm going to have another beer in a minute. Yeah. What you got, Alan? Um, oh, I can't what? remember. I've got a big box <laughs> of miscellaneous ration packs, and I just like grabbed a couple and threw them in the bag. I didn't even look at the label. <laughs> I just mm. threw it in a pot. He's, he's just got a bag of something. Yeah, I've got a bag <laughs> of something. It'll be orange, mm. but it'll probably be tasty. Yeah, it will be day glow orange. Yeah, I haven't had a bad one, so it mm. should be all right. No, we're going to eat our dinner. So, chat to you in a bit. ta -ra. Out of beer now. Me and Alan are both out of beer. Yeah. The beer well has run dry. It has. But never mind. It's nearly bedtime anyway, so we ain't too fast. I thought I'd show you this little thing. I've been using this today. It's like a little. See that? Turn it on and off. Change the colour, look. But yeah. Yeah. Been using that today. It's like a little tripod extendable lantern light. Got little legs and extends out like that. Turn it on. Yeah. Look at that. I quite like it. Alan does not like it. But I do. Mmm, <laughs> glowy. Yeah, I like it. It's pretty good. It's pretty cool. It's a bit weird. <laughs> Alan it's, thinks it's weird. It's, it's not. It, it's a thing for the sake of being a thing. <laughs> it's good for filming. You know, you can just get that little bit of extra glow onto yeah. a so is this. It's not the same thing, Alan. I know it's not. <laughs> but it was two ninety nine off eBay and it worked us for me. But I, I like this. It's a handy little thing for filming because you can angle the light and yeah. It's quite clever, I'll give you that. Yeah, it's good. I like it. It's In also, a pointless way, but it's quite clever. <laughs> <laughs> it's also magnetic on the bottom. So you can stick it to things that are metal, obviously. There's a lot of metal in the woodland. There's not a lot of metal in the woodland, <laughs> no. But, you know, it's cool. I like it. But yeah, on that note, I'll speak to you later. Okay, first night in the new tent. All snuggled up. So yeah, let's see how it goes. I'll chat to you in the morning. Good night. Well, it's just started raining. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, back to sleep. Get to fall asleep to the sound of the rain. Morning. Got my cup of anti-murdery juicy juice. I slept pretty well last night. I woke up, I think it was twice. Once because there was a deer barking. And then he went on for about 10, 15 minutes. Woke Alan up as well. Woke the bloody pair of us up, he did. Really close. Um, and then I woke up to some rain as well. So, yeah, eventful. <laughs> yeah. Tent held up fine with the rain, no water, no leaks. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, it was a little bit of a soggy night. But is what it is, isn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna drink this, start packing up. There we go, another camp is over. Say bye, Alan. Bye, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.
Ta-ra.